Uh, this short video will describe and illustrate a 12 and a half inch Newtonian reflector telescope on a horseshoe equatorial mount and equipped with stellar cat controls and Argo Navis guidance system. In overview, uh, note the welded steel frame providing both weight and stability. Yellow jacks at each corner allow for leveling. The horseshoe ring is reinforced internally with a welded steel frame and rides on self-aligning roller bearings below. The south bearing is a one and three-quarter inch shaft fitted in a thrust bearing. All axis movements are smooth and well balanced. The rigid telescope tube is uh, made of fiberglass sono tube and rotates coaxially within a frame attached to the declination trunnions. The white plastic bag resting on the frame rear contains cables which will be fed through a conduit under the floor to the operator's desk. The eyepiece holder is fashioned after the Crawford design and can accommodate both one and a quarter inch and two inch eyepieces. It is shown here uh, with a Cheshire eyepiece for collimation. The holder is motorized with the remote control set on the operator's desk. Cables in the lower right are contained in a conduit for neatness and include power to the focusing motor, power to the yet to be installed Malin Cam video camera, and RG6 video cable for video feed to flat screen TV on the operator's desk as well as an LCD projector in the adjacent classroom. At the uh, south end, one can again see the yellow leveling jacks, the servo cat power supply on the right, the right ascension axis optical encoder in its black protective cover, the stellar cat hand controller, and on the extreme left, the Argo Navis digital setting circle controller. From the other side, the Stellar Cat control box, switches, and cables can be seen, noting that a sheet of aluminum has been placed between the Argo Navis box and the Stellar Cat base to reduce RFI. On the west side of the declination axis, an old-fashioned protractor setting circle contrasts with the digital setting circle optical encoder, which has a resolution of one ten-thousandth of a full circle. The declination drive system is located on the east side under a protective cover. With the cover removed, one can see the Stellar Cat high torque low RPM motor on the left. The lever at the top disengages an idler gear for hand slewing, which should only be done with Argo Navis switched on once it has been configured. A reduction gearbox is built behind the smaller sprocket, and tension between the sprocket gears is adjustable for minimal backlash. All driving gear sprocket shafts have woodruff keys or equivalent. In addition to the 23 pound mirror weight, an additional 30 pounds of lead provide counterbalance such that the torque needed to raise the scope is minimal. With the telescope tube elevated, one can see the declination axis gearbox and the motor as well as the declination axis release. In the rear of the telescope tube, one can see the mirror mount with triradial adjusting knobs. Note also the central lead disc and the two other semicircular lead blocks for counterbalance. 
With the mirror removed, one can see the self-leveling 18-point suspension, each point calculated to support one eighteenth of the mirror's 23-pound weight. Moving to the front, one can see the right ascension roller belt drive system. The left roller is driven, whilst the right one is a follower, and the smaller lower one is a tension idler. The stainless steel clip at the bottom it disengages the roller belt system from the horseshoe ring. Viewing the roller belt system from inside, one can see the Stellar Cat motor with a protective cover, the white belt of the drive, and a closer view of the west self-aligning bearing supporting the horseshoe. In this sequence, one can see the telescope moving under control of the Stellar Cat hand controller. Note that all movements are smooth with minimal overshoot. Two speed combinations each for slew, jog, slow fine, and fast fine speeds can be configured with ease. The motors are very smooth running and quite powerful for this application with output torque of 200 foot-pounds. In this screenshot of the Stellar Cat configuration screen, one can see the large number of configurable parameters. Stellar Cat is a superb product with first class support from its manufacturer, Gary Myers. Ultimately, when the Malincam Astro video camera is installed, images of this quality can be obtained with stacked time exposures and fed to the classroom LCD projector for group viewing. This is a screenshot from Astro Planner software which, with its massive catalogs of celestial objects, permits access to over 200,000 items. Once an object is selected and if within viewing range, the telescope can be instructed to automatically slew or go to the object. The whole purpose of this project is to increase interest, awareness, and the teaching of astronomy and science in the schools and colleges of the Cayman Islands. An observatory with slide-off roof and attached classroom is in the final stages of design and construction should begin in early 2011 on the UCCI campus. Annual Science Weeks will be held in the future with special invited guest lectures. For further details, please feel free to contact me at this email address.